Hello and welcome to K21 Academy's DevOps video series. Today with our DevOps Institute certified expert trainer, we are going to cover Agile and DevOps relationship with it. Agile is the ability to create and respond to change. It is an umbrella term for several iterative and incremental software development approaches, with each of those variations being its own Agile framework. So what are the frameworks which fall under Agile? Where does Agile fit in with DevOps and how do they function together? We'll cover all such questions in this video. If you haven't yet watched our previous video and would like to know more about DevOps, then please check out our What is DevOps video. In this video, our DevOps expert trainer will be talking about Agile methodology with different frameworks. He will also be covering DevOps with Agile and the Agile manifesto. So let's hear what our trainer has to say. So if you see, we have Agile framework over here. Okay, Agile methodology, you can call it as your Agile methodology. So under Agile methodology, there are multiple frameworks available. One is Scrum, another one is Kanban, another one is XP, which is Extreme Programming, another one is TDD, which is Test Driven Development, another one is PDD, which is Process Driven Development, another one is Lean, so and again there are much more a lot of things are there so all these are sub layers of agile framework okay which means agile is actually the top layer of all or, or, or agile is the mother of all these new frameworks that is available so what is mean by agile and why agile has so many frameworks into it and who is a competitor for agile so if you see agile's competitor is waterfall model so which means waterfall model was our traditional approach and to overcome that agile came into the picture and agile is having a multiple frameworks under them so waterfall is a methodology agile is a methodology and these are all the framework or a process so apart from this what are all the frameworks available another one we see is itsm framework okay which is it service management framework and what are the other things available safe framework which is scaled agile framework and what are the other ones available spotify which is called as agile 2.0 framework so there are a lot of other frameworks available according to or apart from agile waterfall and other methodologies as i was mentioning to you about devops cannot stand alone devops has to have some process or frameworks or methodologies along with it so uh, devops goes very well with agile lean and itsm framework so combination of all the three gives a power of devops so that adaptation and integration of multiple framework and methodologies will be very much easy and your software can be delivered as soon as possible to the clients with the fewer defects and a lot of high stabilities and this is one of the main slides which is uh, called as agile manifesto which you can in turn call as agile principles what does that mean so there are mainly four manifestos of agile that is available first is individual interactions versus process and tools so the left hand side is main compared to the right hand side what here they are saying individuals and interactions are main over process and tools which means here people and communication is more important than your process and your tools which means process and tools is not important which means it is also important but compared to the right hand side left hand side is more important and they, it is of high value the next one is working software over comprehensive documentations so even if you have 100 pages of documentation if your software is not working then it doesn't serve any value so that is why we focus mainly on working software rather than the documentation but it doesn't mean documentation is not important documentation is important but before documentation your software has to work that is why left hand side has more value customer collaboration over contract negotiation which means if you are talking more about contracts or if you are negotiating a lot on the contracts and at the end of the day if the customer satisfaction is not given then it's of no use that is why customer satisfaction or a customer collaboration is more important than the contract negotiations and responding to the change versus following a plan for example if you have any incident or a high issue 
and you are saying like you have to follow the process to take this approval and only then it will be done until then the problem will not be fixed the problem will get high and high instead of that you first respond to the change you first fix the problem and then follow the process okay so that is why this agile manifesto has brought in a lot of change across the it industry and if devops is actually following these four agile manifestos imagine how much faster and the feasible delivery devops can give you so this is one of the main slides called as agile manifesto and what are all the important terms that is available on agile agile means i told you before itself its ability to move quickly and easily it should be fast that is agile and what is an enterprise agile enterprise agile is nothing but your whole company has to move towards a faster delivery uh, it should able to respond faster it should it should overcome from unexpected challenges events and opportunities that is an enterprise level agile and what is an agile software development as the name indicates your software should be developed as fast as possible and as quick as possible and delivered to the client with the high quality and the lower failures so that is called as your agile software development so we were talking about agile 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 so how to be agile so if you wanted to be an agile centric or if you wanted to be an agile person or if you wanted to be an agile enterprise or if you wanted to develop an agile software what are the things that you need to do you should be customer focused you should be lean lean in the sense like it's not on your body lean in the sense you should eliminate the waste <clears throat> you should be more collaborative with the multiple teams together you should be more communicative you should you should always notify what is happening across and you should be a pillar of gaps between the multiple teams you should be adaptive to any situation you should be measurable measurable in the sense i was actually giving you an example of that uh, project team which is having a testing members so you should put in a lot of metrics in place you should measure what is the main time to resolve you should measure what is the main time to recover and there is a lot of other measurements available on devops that we will be seeing on our future slides so by those metrics you should be able to measure your success you should be always consistent as i was telling to you like if you are delivering a software uh, 10 days before the delivery date on the first month and the next month if you are going to deliver 10 days after the delivery date it is not consistent consistent in the sense like you should always fix a date or you should always deliver before the said date that is called as consistent and always your software should be high valuable and your software should produce without any defects that is consistent and you should be results oriented and you should be reflective as well by seeing you others has to change so like that you should be changing yourself so if your individuals or if the enterprise is changing across all these uh, concepts or all these points then they are called as agile and the enterprise which follows all these is called as your enterprise agile so that was our devops expert trainer explaining about agile and devops relationship with it Agile and different frameworks are part of the DevOps Foundation course on our training program where all these topics are covered in detail. If you are not yet DevOps certified and would like to see what to expect in the certification exam or how to prepare for this exam, I would like to invite you for a free 90 minute session with our DevOps Institute as well as Microsoft certified expert trainer. We will talk about DevOps Foundation course. Additionally, we'll show live demo of website deployment on Docker using Jenkins CI CD. we will talk about different devops tools we will also share information about the certification exam so you can register for free by going on to this url k21academy.com/devops02 in the upcoming video in this series we are going to look at roles and responsibilities of devops engineer so i'll see you next week please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos